Hey weirdos, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you're having an amazing start to your day, middle of your day, end of your day. Yes, I sound nasally and congested because I am, but the show must go on. So I had a request, I had a few requests actually to show you how I do a real time start to finish dip powder manicure. On my nails right now, I do have the Manny Boss Pink Lace Builder Gel. I am back to natural shorties. And I'm gonna use these two colors from Revel. They are from GOR, which was Gift of Revel. I don't know if Revel is still doing this, but last year you were able to sign up for GOR and that meant every month they're gonna send you two coordinating shades. And it's kind of like a mystery every month, <laughs> which I thought was super cool. And I love these shades so much. So I'm going to use them and I'm going to show you start to finish how I do a manicure. There are no edits in this entire video. I am not cutting anything out. I am not fast forwarding through anything. Of course, there's no prep in here whatsoever or no removal. If you want to see how I do that, I'll make sure to leave videos up in the cards and or slash down in the description box. But this is, as I mentioned, going to be just real time. I'm going to do my nails. <laughs> Again, not cutting anything, even stirring the powder, brushing off excess, zero editing in this video at all. So I did start out mixing up the dip powder. I find that super important. I think that a lot of powders, especially in transit, can get really compact and condensed. And you want to make sure it's light and fluffy. So you want to make sure you're storing up your dip powder. That's a good tip for you. I'm going to go ahead and start applying my dip base coat. I'm using the Manny Boss Dip Base. I've not played with dip base in quite a while. I've been on a gel kick lately, but I felt like doing dip base <laughs> for no rhyme or reason. I have a lot of questions about which I prefer. It really depends on my mood. I'm the kind of person that will get into something and then I get hyper-focused on it for a period of time. Like, for example, I went through... I don't know, four month period of time where I had to eat garlic knots every single day. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Do I love garlic knots? Yes. Do I need to eat them every day? Absolutely not. Nobody should ever do that ever. <laughs> but that's who I is. I don't know. Is it an ADHD thing? Who knows? But that's what I do. So I was on a gel kick for a minute. Now I'm going to go and do some dip liquids. Will it stick? I don't know. I might be back to gel liquids tomorrow. Who the heck knows? But I am just applying my dip base as I normally would. I typically will start in the center of my nail. I want to make sure that the majority of the product on my brush is not in my cuticle area. So you'll see me put the brush down kind of in the center of my nail, swipe it down towards the free edge. That way most of the product is off my brush. And then I will gradually go into the cuticle area and get the entire nail covered. I'm going to go around my cuticle area and my sidewalls with this orange wood stick. You don't have to use an orange wood stick. You can use a teeny tiny dotting tool or a toothpick or a precision cuticle tool, whatever your preference is, and clean up. Make sure I have no product near my skin because product on or super close to your skin can cause a lifting, and I don't want that, even though I do well, wear, what? <laughs> I do wear peel-off base coat because I do my nails so often. I still don't want to have unnecessary lifting. I want to make sure my cuticle area and sidewalls are nice and clean because who wants messy cuticles? Not me. So I'm going to finish up this first round of dip. I'm going to do my thumbnail. I don't know why I go in the order I go. It's just a force of habit, I suppose. But I'm going to get my thumbnail done. I'm going to dust off access. So we're going to get into dip number two. So this is what we are looking like so far. So far, so good. The coverage on this powder is 
absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna do a second coat though, just for strength. I do have a video coming up. Let's talk about this for a minute. So I have a lot of questions, a lot of commonly asked questions, if you will, in my comment section, in DMs, in emails, in my Facebook group. And I know I've done dip powder problems videos before in the past, probably like a year or two ago. And I figured I would kind of break up the dip powder problems into individual videos focusing on one particular topic. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna do another dip for strength. This is gonna help prevent against cracking in your dip powder nails. I will have an entire video dedicated to how you can prevent cracking in your dip powder nails coming up very soon within the next couple of weeks. But if there are any topics that you guys would like me to touch on when it comes to dip powder problems, or, or gel, I don't care, I like gel products too, let me know down below and I would be happy to put together a focused video for you on whatever topic you want me to cover. Literally nothing is off the table. I will, I will do the best that I can with whatever you guys want me to do. So I'm gonna finish up the second round of dip for this color and then we're gonna get into the glitter and there was a little bit of a surprise, wait till you see. So I decided not to encapsulate and clear dip powder only because this was a very seamless application. I didn't feel like I needed it. There was very minimal filing. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate these solid nails only because I'm gonna be using a glitter and the last thing I want is for a rogue piece of glitter to stick to my solid color nails. The activator will prevent anything from sticking to the flat color. So I'm gonna activate and then we're gonna get into this glitter. This glitter. First of all, it is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. Revels glitters are some of the best that I've used. This one is more of a super fine shimmer slash glitter. It's one of those that's really gonna fly everywhere all over the place. Like if you went in for an x-ray, a chest x-ray after using this glitter, your, your lungs would be sparkling. <laughs> it's beautiful though. So look at this, isn't it gorgeous? So we're gonna get in with this glitter and you're gonna notice right off the bat, as soon as I dip my nail into this glitter and pull it out of the jar, I noticed right away that it is a thermal temperature changer. I had no idea. And that's part of the charm, if you will. <laughs> and the mystery of these Revel GORs, you really never know what you're getting, but they do a really nice job of coordinating the shades so they work really well together. And I love the way this came out in the end. Now, granted, my nails are super short, okay? I have little nublets. I prefer my natural nails to be on the shorter side. It's just, it's a me thing. It's a my preference. If you have longer nails, you will likely be able to see that color difference because your nail bed is warm as opposed to the free edge of your nail, which does not touch your skin, which can be a little bit cooler, right? But since my entire nail is nail bed, it all stays the warm color. So thermals never really work on me unless I'm inside, outside, inside, outside, because 
Inside my house is a crisp 68 degrees. You know, I have AC running all the time. I'm in Florida, by the way. And then I go outside and it's super warm. Unless it's now, in which case we have a little bit of Florida winter happening. It's been a little bit chilly, which I'm loving. But anyway, I digress. So the glitter is a thermal and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and get this on my ring and my pinky. There is no rhyme or reason behind why I put colors on specific nails. I really just wanted to do something different. I feel like I typically gravitate towards glitter on my thumb and my ring finger. I feel like that's just like a normal thing, but I I figured let me do a glitter ring and pinky today and, and be different. <laughs> is it very different? No. Is it kind of basic? Yes, but yeah, this is what I felt like doing today. You guys will have to let me know what your like dedicated glitter fingers are. If glitter fingers, that's a new thing. Is Is that a thing? I don't know. Where do you like to put your accent nails? Do you do the same finger every time you do a manicure or do you like to switch it up here and there? What, what am I even saying? <laughs> I, I'm having cold medication delusions. Anyway, dusting off excess, that's excess, access, you know me and my weird accent, which is probably even weirder now that I'm all nasally and congested, but I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat and then I'm going to activate the two glitter nails and then we're going to start a little bit of filing. And yes, I am leaving in the filing. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and activate. Again, I'm not doing a clear cap. If I were doing a actual glitter and not like a shimmer, fly away everywhere type glitter, I would probably want to do a clear cap. But because this glitter is so fine and f fine, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have an issue buffing over the glitter. So I'm not going to bother with a clear coat. If I were doing a clear coat, this would probably add a little extra time. Right now we're at about 13 minutes and that's application only. I'm going to let that sit and harden. And while the glitter nails are solidifying, I'm going to go ahead and start filing the solid color nails. I do tap the nails to make sure they are making that clicky noise so I know they're cured and ready to file. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my super slim file and I'm going to get working on my sidewalls and my cuticle area, clean up my shape just a little bit. Again, this application was so easy and I really find that to be key when you're struggling with filing. The cleaner your application is, the less filing you need to do. I will have a dedicated filing routine video coming also in the next couple of weeks because I feel like I haven't done one in a while. I, I, I feel like I should revamp videos like on an annual basis just to make sure that I'm keeping up to date. You guys always know what I'm doing. Is that a, I don't know. Does that annoy you <laughs> that I that I kind of recycle content? I just want to make sure I am keeping my channel and resources for y'all as current as possible. So my updated filing routine will be up probably in about a week or so. So as mentioned, cleaning up my sidewalls and my cuticle area. I'm going to do that on all of the nails first and then we're going to get into a little bit of contouring and buffing and I'm going to do a gel top coat. I know. I know that a lot of y'all don't like using gel products and you want to do a dip pad or top coat and that's totally fine. You absolutely can. There are so many other options though because I know dip pad or top coat can be finicky, sensitive, kind of a pain in the ass. I don't like dip pad or top coat. Why? It's a great question. I love to tell you. I love Elise Myers. I really do with my whole entire heart. 
Anyway, dip pad or top coat. So I find I am not really sensitive to dip flu. I am not a dip flu person, but for some reason, and I know that dip base and dip top are pretty much the same thing, but dip top coat, if anything is going to make my eyes hurt or get irritated or burn or make my nose stuffy, it's going to be a dip top coat. I don't know why, that's just the way it is. So I try to avoid dip top coat at any and all cost, but also I just find that I can contaminate dip top coat pretty quickly if I stop thinking for a second and miss a step. I just find it so much easier to use a gel top coat, but if you don't want to use gel products, you can use a regular nail polish top coat. Totally acceptable. You can do that. So I'm going to get into my contouring routine. And again, this is just really to smooth out any of the harsh lines that I made when I was filing my cuticle area and my sidewalls. Kind of just blending at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together. Then I'm going to buff all the nails nice and smooth. I know, I know, if you're doing a gel top coat, you shouldn't buff your nails. I know. I, however, <laughs> I have isms, you know, like most people might, I guess, maybe. I, it's part of my routine. I'm a nail buffer. I have to buff. If I do not buff my nails, I don't feel complete. So I will buff my nails. Now, if you want to use a gel top coat, but you have gel top coat peeling problems, I would highly recommend using a gel primer before you go in with your gel top coat. That will make a world of difference for you. You can use a gel base coat too. Either one will help adhere your gel top coat to your nail and make it less likely to peel. But we'll get there when we get there. I'm going to go ahead and finish contouring, give the nails a nice once over with a buffing block, and then we're getting in with top coat.
so now that I've gotten all the nails filed, as mentioned, I'm going to go in with my buffer block and smooth everything out. This will take out any scratches. Make sure everything is nice and smooth for your top coat. If you're using a dip powder top coat, we're not going to revisit the buffing the nails and the gel top coat again, but you know. So I have a lot of people asking me what grit my buffers are. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I know they're very fine grit buffers. Everything that I'm using will be linked down below in the description box in case you have questions about any of the products or you want to pick something up at some point. Also check my uh, save money section down there. I have a lot of discount codes for a lot of different companies, so you can always save money by using codes. Anything that I make commission on will be listed as affiliate. Any Amazon links that I have are always going to be affiliate. Yes, I make commissions. If you don't want to use my links, you super don't have to. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Honestly, if you'd rather go search for products yourself, you could totally go do that. But if you do want to shop using any of my affiliate links or affiliate discount codes, I appreciate you literally so much and thank you. <laughs> so I grabbed my scrubby manicure brush with a little swipe solution and just de-dusted everything getting ready for my top coat. I'm going to go ahead and grab my gel top, my who? <laughs> <laughs> my gel top coat from Adrata. You guys know I've been loving her gel products lately. And I'm going to do a gel top coat on all of the nails and I'm going to cure for a full minute. I am literally in love with this nail lamp that I got. It is so good. It is pricey. It is a very high wattage, but I literally love it so much. If you are looking for a good gel lamp, like a good one, that's going to cure all your things. It's like 196 watts. It's got a reflective bottom. It is amazing. I will make sure to leave that link down below for you as well. But I'm going to throw on the gel top coat. I'm going to cure for a full minute, throw on a little cuticle oil, and we're going to wrap this up. I told you I wasn't editing. You're going to sit here. You're going to sit here and watch me care my nails. <laughs> I meant it. I'm not cutting anything out of this video. I'm literally caring for an entire minute. And if you're wondering what was on my sweatshirt, it's like an old school Nickelodeon hoodie. I love it so much with my whole entire heart. It just, it makes my heart happy. It makes my soul smile. Old school Nickelodeon cartoons. I think there was Rugrats and Doug and Rocco and all those cute cartoons. Are you any 90s? kids here. <laughs> like I was born in the 80s, but I grew up in the 90s and that was all my jam and I will literally keep the sweatshirt until the day I die. So finishing up curing, I'm also going to show you, like you kind of been seeing it the entire time, what I do in between steps, finding products, 
foraging for products, throwing away products, getting cleaning up a little bit, which you're going to see me do here. Um, but I find I have a lot of questions on how to cut down your time when you're doing your nails. And I find one thing that really helps me is before I start anything, I gather all my products and I put them in front of me. And I, my nail desk is clean. Like there's nothing on it except what I need to use in front of me. That way I don't have to really go hunting for things. It's all right there. And that cuts down on my time a lot. So here are my nails fresh out of the oven. I got rid of my... I don't know. The my girls call it a desk bib. <laughs> Got rid of my desk bib. Everything is clean. No dust anywhere. I'm going to go in with my cuticle oil. I find cuticle oil to be absolutely imperative for your nail health, okay? I don't preach that you need products. I will never say you need this, you need that. I don't know your life. You may or may not need anything. But cuticle oil, you need. We go through a lot with our nails when we're doing them between dehydrating and filing and buffing and all the dust. I like to replenish my skin and my cuticles with cuticle oil after every single manicure. I find it really helps my skin to stay healthy, stay hydrated. It helps your nails to grow. Yes, it does. I've done the science. So if you want healthy skin and nails and you want your nails to grow out healthy, cuticle oil is a necessity. I throw it on my hands too. I will literally rub this stuff everywhere. I mean, not everywhere. There are some places you should not put cuticle oil. I'm not going to mention specific locations because that would be inappropriate on YouTube, but you know, I, I, what, why, why am I like this? <laughs> I'm going to take off the excess cuticle oil from my nail plate with a little bit of that swipe solution, and this is the finished look. I, I hope this was entertaining or helpful or uh, something. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you and I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are. I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.